Hi guys, it's Sarge here from Payment Eye, and I'm joined here by Human Mazeri, who's the European CEO at MPayMe. How are you doing today? Good, good right. afternoon, very well, thanks. Okay. Thanks for joining us today. So, could you tell me about um, MPayMe and your role at the Expo today? Okay. Uh, MPayMe, we're a Hong Kong based organization, it was founded in Hong Kong in 2010, yep. uh, and we are uh, a mobile business platform. Uh, that we kind of launch, launched this year, and what we are is we are you know, we we are more than just payments, which everyone talks about. So we actually uh, a whole end-to-end -end process from the very beginning before sales, where the merchant can communicate with the with the consumers, uh, create a closer intimacy interaction, push offers and coupons, relevant ones, uh, to get them into the store. Payment will be a piece of that, which we do. Uh, which we can talk about through to then the loyalty and other value adds. So we're kind of a full mobile business platform. Right. And in terms of being a mobile business platform, it's an area we're seeing a lot of, lot of activity and there's a lot of green space and a lot of innovation going on. So I understand uh, MPayMe has been quite busy in the past past year or two. Could you tell me tell me more about that? Sure. Yeah. So we um, we actually, as I said, we were founded in 2010. So we've worked in the last two three years actually getting our uh, development together, getting the system together. Yep. Uh, and getting our global presence into place. Yeah. Uh, we have been working on quite a lot of uh, significant partnerships uh, with merchants and, and other partnerships, which some people might have heard about. It's a like partnership with First Data, a global partnership yeah. with them. So getting all that together for actually our big official launch in the middle of July. Yeah. Uh, so when we come into the market, we actually have got all, all those uh, relationships with, the, yeah. with partners and merchants there. So uh, in, in the lead up to your launch in July, uh, could you tell me more about the product offering you've got today, Snap? Sure, yeah. So uh, so first of all, you know, um, you know, it's important to say we're not just the mobile payments because uh, we actually feel that there isn't a, you know, you get a lot of companies out at the moment who have got mobile payment solutions. Yep. And we actually think there, is, there isn't a problem with payments currently in the market. Because you know, if you go to any shop in the UK currently, you can, you can pay, right? You take your cash out, you take your card out, and you pay. So there isn't a payment problem. So we've actually come into the market to, um, uh, to actually say there isn't a payment problem, but there is a need for the merchants and the consumers for a different way of, of operating. For merchants, it's all about uh, a platform that allows them to uh, generate more revenue, yeah. Uh, be able to push offers and coupons to their customers, get to know the customers better. Um, be able to uh, redeem coupons, which is quite important. So at the moment, when the merchants send an offer out or send a coupon out, um, it's hard for them to know who's redeemed it or whether it has been redeemed. So we can help the merchant do all that. And for the consumer, what we're providing is a single, very safe and secure application, which allows them to uh, quite simply transact across all the different channels. Right. So we can operate in e-commerce, m-commerce, face-to-face, uh, P2P. Uh, we can even, uh, as a consumer, you can purchase something off an advert. So if you see an advert that you like, you can buy something from it straight away. Right. So great. That's fantastic. And you, you spoke uh, a lot there about the consumer. As we know, the consumer is king. And um, in terms of interface, and ad uh, adoptability, that's something that's very important for you. So uh, how, much, how much has gone into making sure that that's quite prominent in, in terms of the thought process in your product solution and for sure. the consumer? As you said, consumer is the king, right? They, ultimately, they're going to decide you know, which, which platforms to adopt and how to use it. And it's all about being relevant to the consumer. So, and there's a number of things into that. First of all, from a payment perspective, we're agnostic. So when you download the app, uh, you can choose any payment funds you want. So you can right. choose any credit card, any debit card, loyalty card, uh, prepaid card, um, carry billing. So we, we're fairly agnostic. So as a, as a user, you're able to replace your wallet by loading everything on it. Right. Also as a consumer, you can you, once you've got it, you can use it anywhere. So all the channels. So there are apps out there where you can only use it on e-commerce or you can only use it in-store, which is okay, but as a user, you want to be able to, to transact anywhere so we can do it across all those channels and then finally as a as a user you want you want relevance right so you know I stopped uh, I stopped my subscription with Groupon because you start getting lots of irrelevant <laughs> offers out right however if you get the relevant offer the consumers are interested so uh, you know I like my coffee so if I come out of Covent Garden station if they send me a, if they know I'm about Covent Garden if I get a, a Starbucks offer for one pound off my latte around the corner I'll be happy with that if I get a, an offer at Covent Garden for paintballing, I'll see that as irrelevant. And, and that's what it's all about, being relevant to the consumer.
Great. So uh, I understand you're going to give us a demonstration of what you've got on offer today. Sure, yeah. But uh, before that, I'd just like to say <laughs> thanks for joining us today. And we wish you all the Pleasure. best at the expo. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks.